What of you? So, Saturday morning, and I'm just in. I want to take the opportunity to um, start doing the little skirt around the bottom because um, it's just a little bit tricky trying to work out the levels and everything, where the half is going, where the finished floor is going to be. So I didn't really want to do uh, this with someone at the moment until I've sorted it out. So uh, hopefully Harry um, will be back and I'll have him working around here and I'll take this side. Um, but what I want to try and do is just get um, these little blocks that I've got uh, which represent the half height. So I want to now get a few small ones of these. I've done some sample um, mortars. So at the moment, although it's still a little bit wet, um, I'm looking at this one. So if it's not quite right, what I'm going to do with these ones that I'm going to do this morning, because they are only the, like the little skirt ones, I'm going to rake them back. So if the colour is right, I will just um, mix some more up when we do it and just put that in those ones. If it isn't right, then obviously I haven't got to chop them out. I can just um, point over what I'm now going to do. So the idea for um, the next couple of hours is just to make a start going around here. And then once we do get the colour right, we've got ground level, first and second lift, to tile. Can't really see the top bit at the moment. You might have seen it before. This is where it opens up in uh, two smaller trunks. So, lovely Saturday and uh, lovely view. Uh, on the way home, I'm going to um, put on my playlist and uh, I'm going to share with everyone. <laughs> Depends how much you can tolerate. But the first three random songs of one of my playlists. So I don't know what's going to come up. But um, we'll just see. So, just started doing a little bit of the bark. Just to get a bit of an idea, get the little skirt right around the bottom, just using my um, appropriately sized pieces of wood. So, um, carry on on Monday, just go around this and uh, see if Harry's with me, because I'll get Harry, obviously he can go around this side. Well, probably vice, vice versa, really. All right, I'll probably do this side, 
and I'll tuck Harry around that. So it's kind of like giving the um, the standard to, to continue. So I'll just start on this side, I think, on Monday. And then, up we go. So, like I said, I'm now gonna lock all my gear up, put everything away, and uh, then I'm gonna get in my van, and my playlist, and I will have uh, just the first three random songs on. So, that's plot eight, where the tree's going. Here's my van. So we'll just quickly drive out. I think um, they said they had a problem with the gate. Someone's locked us in. So we'll just go see what we can do. And then my random playlist. I'm looking forward to that. So now leaving off. And uh, random playlist. Three songs we said. We'll just see what comes up. Right, first one. Ooh, what a tune. forward to the next gate. No, here he comes. Right, song number two. What have we got? Oh, a bit of Gretel. This is one of my highlights of Latitude. I 
don't want you here.
Chris Blythe. Uh, just going to quickly talk about those um, songs that uh, just came on randomly on the playlist. Uh, the first one, Jerry Cinnamon. Um, he just came up uh, on a playlist that I, you know, just a random thing on YouTube. And uh, I remember hearing it the first time and thinking to myself, I really like that. So um, that's um, how we got to know that one. Uh, the second one was Gretel Hanlin. She was my highlight of the Latitude Festival. She just played in the Sunrise Arena, just a little tent in the woods. And uh, she was just so good, really liked her. Lots of lovely, great little bands at Latitude. Um, I, don't, I tend not to really go to the main stage that much. I rather go to the little stages and find the people who will eventually be on the main stage in a couple or a few years time. So you find some superb bands like that. Uh, so anyway, so that's it. And the last band, uh, Floral Image. I uh, first saw them a few months ago. I haven't got an album out yet. Um, at Norwich Arts Centre my favourite little venue and uh, I saw them in Style Market a couple of weeks ago as well so and I've got I'm gonna see them another two times in within the next six weeks um, Norwich and Yarmouth I'm gonna see them again so um, just looking forward to all of that so they were the first uh, three random of the playlist and uh, I don't know if you um, like my style of music but I love it. So, anyway, this is my little journey home. And uh, I mentioned Latitude. Well, in these trees on the left-hand side of me is where Latitude is. And um, there's another great thing about this little park land here, just up on top of the hill where you drive into Latitude. Well, it's where production drive in here. It's all the bands drive in uh, when Latitude's on. Every July, make sure you come next year because it's a superb. I've been to loads of um, festivals. Latitude is by far my favourite. Um, but just here, at Hen um, Henham Barnes, they do um, pizzas in there on a Wednesday night. But unfortunately, um, next Wednesday's the last time they do it, and then they close until next spring. But it's a brilliant little um, uh, setup and. Uh, pieces are superb really good price and it's just a really nice thing to do on a Wednesday on your way home from work so uh, that's pretty cool um, so anyway uh, latitude all the stuff happens the other side of these trees and this is where I parked as soon as you come to the field I parked immediately there where the sheep are it's here and all these fields up here just get uh, I don't know 20,000 30,000 cars on there um, for the festival. I love it. Anyway, I am now going to carry on driving up and um, catch you later on the next one. So, see you later.